from being here in the U.S.? What have you learned about Americans? Like, because we, what we do is we bring, you know, we have an, here we are in the U.S., and we have an opportunity to ask you all about your countries and so on, but what have you learned about Americans like, from being you, here you, at Penn can State? Can you, like, specify some aspects? Anything at all about us. How are we, our habits, the way we are, our beliefs, our ways of being, like, I think people in America... What have you learned that surprised you? Let me say that. I think people in America in general, uh, they're more assertive. It's like, I'm not saying the Koreans are not assertive, but like in, many, in a lot of the cases in Korea, I think they try to uh, avoid mentioning directly about the like, really controversial issues. But here, I think they do, doubt, uh, they do talk a lot of about the political issues and like religious things on the in the public okay let me take all right let me take that can anyone else say anything about americans being assertive i kind of feel like american could be a little bit more like liberal you know compared to like conservative and assertive is like pushing yourself to pushing your idea to others people so pushing you have this sense of that of, of us pushing our ideas onto other people yeah but it's, it's a good thing though like compared to china it's more like you know, like political issues shouldn't be talked about. In, in so you don't talk about political issues in China. Yeah, Here we're that. like always trying to ch get people to change their thinking. And, yeah, yeah, exactly. All right. Anybody else? Does that come up with anyone? All right. You had something. What have you learned about Americans? Um, I realized that um, they're all really polite and like opening the doors or like holding the doors or like uh, even like the cars on campus, they like wait for you to walk across the street before they drive. So you feel like we're really polite in that Yeah, way. like back in my country, I don't think that, that rarely happens. Like so the cars the just go. Cars just like run people over. And, no, well, they you, don't. So many, you're from China <laughs> no. though, right? There's so many Chinese. Like, uh, you, we can, you can lose a few here, we, you know. Uh, first of all, I'm from Taiwan. Oh, and you're from, wait, are you from Taiwan? Yes. Oh, you are from Taiwan? Yes. Oh yeah, my bad. All yeah, right. it's okay. Um, but yeah, the, what I've noticed is like, yeah, um, back in my home country, like they only like the people like let the cars go, like not, okay. not the other way around. All right, so you feel like we're really polite. Yeah. All right, some of y'all call your parents by your first names. We call everybody by the first names? No, your parents. Oh, your parents? Yeah, that's kind of. How do you call your, what do you, what do you. Mom, do you dad. What's mom, up? Mom, dad. You call our parents by mom and dad. Yeah? Never first names. So you say mom and dad like in. Yeah. Never by first names. No. Yeah. Hi, hey, how many? So not everyone does that, though. Not every I American. I notice some, though. You notice some people, yeah. yeah. And it would never happen back in China. What else? I do notice that some uh, all the American students, uh, like uh, in uh, the lunchtime today, I noticed some of them were talking very passionately about some topic relating to uh, science, which is... Um, so I found that some American students are very passionate about those kind of subjects, whereas uh, in, in my places, in other places maybe, we, in those times we were talking about just other uh, fun social stuff. You know, you know really? what I mean? Really? That's yeah, so, so interesting because I, I would think most Americans would think the opposite. Like in Asia, all you all do is sit around and talk about math and science and play around on your calculators and uh, stuff. No, no. So... In Wait. my mind, before I come here, I, I've, I've, I've heard people say that American students, the, for those ones who are good at studying, they are really good. Like, not only good, but they are passionate about it. Yeah. So aside from classwork, from class, they will uh, do research and study about that a lot. Yeah. Which, like, I, feel, I can feel the passion in them, which yeah. I don't normally see in my country. So. Yeah, that's really interesting. All right, so that's you wouldn't see that necessarily in Vietnam. Does anybody else see that? Is that like... Like, some Asian people could be, like, working together. I believe, like, American could be more, like, individual. They believe in individualism. Like, yep. They want to work alone, try to fix things out, like, figure things out, and make, like, make the project by themselves, probably. And they do have that like, group project, but most of the time they believe like the, they themselves. They're still in it for themselves. Yeah. And whereas in your country, that's less the case. You're much more like, communal. Like, yeah, more like like we want to work things out together, and like 
we have to make a, like a common ground, like everyone want to step on it. Like, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Here. Okay. Hang on. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do an exercise really fast. I'm gonna just see what we think about this. Okay. So I need a volunteer. I need a average woman in a sorority. Sorority woman. Go. Just go through the door really fast. So you touched on this, and I'm gonna hit it again. And I want to hear what you all think about it. So here's here. Look at these different ways of being in the world. So you all can turn around. Take a look at this. So East Asian cultures. This is all. You know, all of you. This is the way you're going to operate in the world. Underestimate your abilities. Um, focus on tasks you don't necessarily do well. These are just characteristics, right? Being more self-critical, self-improvement. You know, you got to improve the things. Work on the things you don't do well. Improve yourself. You'll have a successful life. In the West, especially in the East, in the in the U.S., we really overestimate our abilities. Everybody is really smart, and they, yeah, of, of course, my child's like the most. Br you're all really brilliant. I'm sure all your parents, if you don't get an A in here, will be very happy to call me and tell me that. So we focus on what we do well. We being more talented than others improves our reputation, and high self-esteem is going to lead to like a really good life. So it's all about us. This is on average. This is what we see. It's not true of every person. So I'm going to bring them out here, and we're going to have a conversation, and we're just going to see. If we can, if how these things sort of unfold, right? And so, what do you do in your sorority? Well, we do like service, and then we do like we have these things called pearls, where you gotta like complete. Where you do like they're the five S's, so mm -hmm. like self service, where you do service hours, do scholar, where you like do study hours, or like go to tutoring. Uh huh. Um, social, where you're like. Got we it. have formals and stuff right. and sisterhood and, and and you do you have to be smart well like your gpa has to be just up there but you can't are, like yeah, be failing you okay are you smart i would like to think so yeah like what what do you well what's what's it mean to be smart like do you do your parents no but are you or not like are you are you pretty talented intellectually um it depends on what like i have what are you really smart at I guess I'm good at math, like algebra, oh, yeah. writing, like English. Yeah, everything. Not everything. All right, what are your talents, man? Do you have any hobbies? Like, well, I used to play. Well, I play tennis and I played the cross in high school. Are you pretty school. good? I would like to think so. Yeah. So, how about you? What's your what What's your What do you do? I'm a student, so I'm studying. So you're a student, so you're studying. Yeah, and in my free time, I go to swimming. You go to swimming? Yeah, just working out. Are you good at swimming? Yeah, I just learned like seven years to prepare. Wait, you just what? Learned seven years. When seven I was years in, yeah. ago? So how about school? How do you do? Are you, are you smart? I hope so. <laughs> um, I don't know. You hope so? You don't know? Yeah. And you're, wait, what's your, by the way, what's your GPA? I don't feel comfortable discussing that right now. <laughs> Well, it's no, no but you say you're pretty smart. Like, uh, well, what is it, though? Like, what it, no, go ahead. Just like, what is it in between? Is it more than 3.0? Yes. Like, what? go ahead. I think I'm okay. It's over 3.0. That is it barely over 3.0? Not really. Well, go ahead, say. All right, well, hang on. This is my nightmare right now. <laughs> oh, yeah? All right, well, hang on. So you, you hope you're kind of smart. What do you, what do you study? I'm studying for sociology. What, it, what is it? Sociology. Sociology? Oh yeah. my God, you're not smart enough to <laughs> not st study something else. All right. Uh, okay, so you study sociology. What's your GPA? Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> no, go ahead. Um, over 3.0. Well, what is it though? So it's 3.6. All right. <laughs> there you go. All right. All right. Wait, but tell me. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, though. But what year are you? Uh, actually, I'm a senior, and I'm going to graduate this semester, but I'm a sophomore, so I'm going to graduate two years earlier. Wait, so you're... People. Wait, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Okay. No, so let me be clear. So you are going... You're finishing Penn State in two years. Yes. Hang on. Hang on, slackers. All right. <laughs> So you wait, you're finishing Penn State in two years mm -hmm. and you have a 3.6 GPA. Yes. All right, dude. Um, All right. Uh, thank you. And you're like, 
and you're not, hang on, hang on, wait, 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 hang on, and you're not sure if you're smart, all right, got you, all right, I'm not sure if you are either, you could have finished it in one year, by the way, but, so, how, what year are you? I'm a sophomore. Yeah, sophomore, she's That's a sophomore it. too, she's all, she's finished after this semester, so I just want to point that out, but like, all right. No, uh, yeah, that's really great. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> so humble. Okay, so here, hang on. So let me, I just want to show you, the two of you, a couple of things. Turn around. So in the West, this is just our way of being. Like we, we really overestimate abilities, right? Whatever our abilities are. You didn't really do that so much. You were like, okay, I, you were saying, I hope so. Are you good at tennis? Well, I, I, I hope so. I think so. But, yeah, you I know. don't like to brag. Okay. Okay, right? So we focus on what we do well, be more talented than others, improves our reputation, right? So it's like, you know, your mother would... Do, do your parents brag about you? Mm, not really. They don't? Yeah. They don't tell their friends that, like, my daughter's finishing Penn State in two years? Uh, I don't think so. You don't think so? Yeah, they're pro just proud of me, but they don't tell anybody. They don't tell anybody? Yeah. Would you, if you were finishing Penn State in two years, what would your mother? My mom would put that on Facebook. Like, she'd be <laughs> so like, proud. Like, every day. Yeah. Just want to like, remind everybody once again today, because maybe you forgot since yeah, yesterday. Yeah, like, my mom celebrates, like, really minor things I do that really don't matter. <laughs> like. I mean, not like finishing college no. in two years with a 3.6 GPA. All right. So, anyway, so the idea being East Asian cultures, you're going to underestimate abilities. So, I agree. Yeah, yeah, totally agree, right? Focus on things you don't really do well, being self-critical, like, well, I don't know, maybe I'm smart. You don't even want to say what your GPA is. Why? Because it's not higher? Is that what you didn't want to say? Because you feel kind of yeah. bad? It's not really high. It's not high. Like, this is the thing, right? So the reason she didn't want to say what her GPA is, because, well, it's not really high, and I don't really talk about that. Like, I don't really want to. Why didn't you want to say Cause is like, it because is yours like a 3.9 or something? No. <laughs> like, I think it's fine, but I honestly could do better. Yeah. And also, this is a really big lecture and yeah. it's a little personal. Oh, and maybe your mom's watching and she thinks it's a 3.9, but it's really a 3.1, so you don't want to let her know. All right. Sure. Just, <laughs> just kidding. All right, so anyway, that's the, the piece here, right? It's these things here. Do you have anything that you would add to it? about not putting yourself out front and I also think that it's just because like international students usually go to like a private school before coming here because it's hard to follow the cur curriculum that we have in I don't know like like for example Korea because we um prepare for Korean SAT to get into Korean schools the like Korean mm -hmm. universities so I myself went to private school since um middle school so it's kind of like in there it's usually just like people who work really hard and people who get take tests. I took tests to get into um, my middle school and my high school. So that stuff. So then everyone's smart. So then it's kind of you feel like it's not. You know, it's it's hard to say like oh if I don't have a perfect score. Yeah. That it's like yep. it's I'm good and also it's a culture too. But I haven't been in Korea in a long time, so I don't really know. But a lot of the times, yeah, because people would expect their kids to be like perfect because the com competition is so 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 and yet much. and yet okay but what yeah. she was saying but her mother's they just they expect it her, to be so like her parents perfect. expect her to be perfect but yeah. they don't brag about it and yeah. they don't talk about it are your parents like that my parents are very very open-minded so i talk about everything personal life they really am proud of me so it's they're like very different from the typical asian parents so I didn't have to deal with that. Uh huh. Yeah, but uh huh. Yeah. Do, did anybody else have typical Asian parents that don't like put themselves, don't put you out there? I think my parents is kind of like uh, okay with like education, and they don't believe that good education like you get better grades and you will be a better person or anything. Um, they they believe we need to like like develop other interests other than like studying. than just education. Your parents yeah. are like that. Yeah, like. For the typical Chinese, like traditional Chinese parents, they believe that the the, the, the the Chinese education is really important for most of people, student there. Yeah. Uh, because high, there is like very high intense comp competition there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.